Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the new trailer for the Sonic 35th anniversary. The 35th, or sorry, 30th anniversary. I, I'm, there's been so many anniversaries this year. So they came out with a new trailer called Unstoppable. They also tweeted um, on their official Twitter and in different places too that they're going to have a Sonic Central showcase. They're going to, you know, do a, a, a direct type kind of presentation where they're going to reveal different stuff regarding projects, collaborations they've done, other future projects, you know, maybe stuff for the movie, um, games, maybe the show, you know, Sonic Prime. So I'm definitely excited for that. Um, but now we have the, the trailer that, that kind of started it all. It's called Unstoppable. Now, I didn't see this. Uh, I made sure to avoid it. Uh, I did see a few pictures, but it just looked like random, random stills. Um, so I'm definitely excited. Uh, it's not too long. It's it's a minute and 13 seconds. So let's see what the trailer is all about. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Life yeah. Is not a game. At least that's what they. That's tell Roger, us. right? Especially when things get tough. Oof. But sometimes we just need a little inspiration. Hmm. Oh man. To keep us going. Getting emotional. And to remind us that together, Yo. nothing can stop us. Nothing. Sonic. <laughs> oh, so she grew up to be a designer. Look at that. Oh, the comics. I should read the comics. From games. Oh my God. All the oh yo. To comics, All the games, the comics. Animation. To movies. To movies. Every moment in oh my god. Oh man. For being there. Every step oh the man, way. you're welcome. To the next 30 years. Yo, the director, 30 years? I don't know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm more of a modern Sonic. Look at all the games, man. Oh, colors, unleashed, forces. Dude, unstoppable for generations. 30 years, I can't believe that's That's a little bit older than me. But damn, that was honestly a pretty cool trailer. Uh, it was very emotional. I kind of got me teary-eyed a little bit just because, like, yeah, like, you know, so for me, I don't know if you, you guys know this. Me, Sonic is one of my OGs. Like, like you know, people played Mario. People played all these. No, Sonic. It was Sonic and Kingdom Hearts. Those two are probably the only games that uh, get me a little bit emotional. Um, but, yeah, I'm so excited. We're, gonna get, we're finally going to get news. I mean, dude. I was at work and I saw the announcement of Sonic Central and I was like, "Oh my god!" And and my, my coworker was like, well, "What's going on?" I'm like, "Oh, nothing. They just announced something, you know, that I was excited about." And and dude, I was like, I, "And I was supposed to leave early today, but no, we got complications." And my manager told me to stay longer. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to just boom boost. You know, just just go right at me. Like, get out of here. I want to go home, record this video, talk about this because this is amazing. I mean. Honestly, with that being said, just I am so happy that we're finally getting something. We were definitely worried that we wouldn't get anything. Um, and it looks like we might get stuff actually before E3. Don't know if they'll announce anything during E3. But with that being said, you know, why wait until E3? This is happening on Thursday. Uh, for me, it's going to be at 12 p.m. So I'll definitely wake up early, get some coffee, treat this like a regular direct. So I definitely going to upload this. I might have to switch my schedule a little bit. I mean, Thursday I was planning to play some Star Wars, but I might either upload that later or uh, the next day. Because this is big, you know, at least for me, a Sonic fan. I mean, I, you know, it's been a long time since we had a new game. I personally liked Forces a lot. Like, I know people said it's it wasn't that good. It was mediocre. Now, I personally, as much as I love Sonic, believe it or not, I never got to play the the, the full versions or the or, or final versions, I guess you would say, of some of the 3D modern games. Like, when Unleashed came out, you know, sure, I love that game. But to tell you the truth, I've only played the, uh, the, the Wii version. I never got to play the PS4 version. And then since I never owned the PS... PS4, what am I saying? <laughs> the PS3 version. And since I never had a PS3, I never got to play Sonic Generations. I did have a Nintendo Wii, so I played Colors. And, you know, Colors was a little bit more like Forces, or, or I guess Forces was a little more like Colors. So, um, I guess that's why I liked Forces. Um, I did play... Um, I did play a little bit of Lost World, but not enough to kind of get me into it. But like, I mean, I'm, I'm dying for them to announce maybe like a, a Unleashed or 
or um, Generations port. I know that we're talking about the Colors port, and, and I think that's definitely going to happen. And I mean, Colors is an amazing game. It was already on Nintendo, so why not bring it back? And if it's Ultimate, right, why don't they, you know, hopefully it's not just an HD version. It's Hopefully they fix a lot of the stuff. They Maybe, maybe they streamline all of the levels to make them shorter because I hated all these unnecessary acts. Maybe they add stuff from the DS game because I know the DS game had extra content like the final boss and everything. But I mean, you know, I personally liked Forces. So like, you know, last time when we got the last, you know, game, I still remember it. Oh my gosh. It was, it was a super hype. You know, I love that you can make your own character. I love that, you know, all of the characters were back. You had all, all the whole cast back, you know, kind of present in the story. Now I can admit that yes, it could have been better and it was a little bit lackluster in the sense uh, when comparing, or I should say when comparing to the other previous games, you know, in the sense of Generations and Unleashed. But, um, you know, playing it back, it's definitely a fun game. I think, if anything, if they could just make the levels longer, it would have been a better game. But, you know, I, and I, I'm personally not a big classic Sonic fan, so the classic Sonic levels were kind of, eh. I know people are going crazy praising Mania, but Mania to me is kind of boring. I, I bought it, never finished it, because it's just... Classic Sonic is all right. Like it's it's okay. I don't hate those games because you know I, I grew up with Sonic Advance. I love Sonic Rush. If anything, that's what I hope they announce: a modern Sonic Rush remake where you play a Sonic and Blades with the boost formula. Oh my God, dude, that is my ultimate wish. Either that or a new game. But um, but hey, I I, I you know hate me all you want. You know dislike the video. Don't dislike the video. Like it. Just leave a comment saying that you know that you disagree. That Forces was actually really cool. I mean, the fact that they finally let us create our own character, you know, as Sonic fans, I'm sure everybody has their own. I mean, I, you know, my character, he's his name is Rex the Wolf, and he, you know, he had this whole alternate story, but, you know, and I kind of got my design pretty close to him, but, uh, you know, later on, I played around with a lot of, like, the costumes and stuff. You know, the one I'm currently using now is is I changed his color to black and he's wearing Joker's outfit since it's a DLC costume you can use so yeah there's a lot of cool stuff you can do but man I'm so excited for this Sonic uh, Central definitely you know keep an eye out as of me recording this will probably it'll probably it's gonna go live tomorrow right the, the the event so I'm definitely gonna not live stream it but I will record my reaction and upload it right away so I mean let me know what you guys think are you super excited about this um, what are you expecting uh, for both a new Sonic game um, what, what do you think a port would be like? What, what, like, what kind of fixes will they do? Um, what are you expecting for the show? Do you think they'll show something for Sonic Prime? I mean, I love... I've been watching Sonic X, actually, on Netflix. And Sonic Boom, like, the, the, the game is... I never played it. I mean, I know it wasn't that good, I think. But the show? The show was so funny. Oh, my God. So, I mean, hey, whatever they decide to do, I'm definitely hyped. Uh, maybe, maybe even an actual trailer for Sonic two right the movie so hey and i can i could actually go to my um movie channel i'm I, I don't know if i'll make a separate video but i i i you know i did make my movie channel official now this week as of me recording this so definitely make sure you subscribe to that i mean i could talk about the sonic movie when it comes out on that channel but man i'm just so excited if you're excited leave a like let me know how excited you are follow me on twitter i'm gonna be talking about you know all this stuff as it as it progresses uh follow me on twitter at rhythm z um and yeah, just, I'm super excited. Again, let me know what you think. Um, and, and, and here's to an amazing announcement for whatever it is they announce. So hey, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I upload. And until next time, bye.